Kilimo cha humu nchini kinakabiliwa na changamoto nyingi. Baadhi yazo ni wadudu waharibifu na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi inayopelekea kupungua kwa mazao na ubora wa vyakula. Kufuatia hilo, dawa za kunyunyizwa kwa mimea hutumika kudhibiti wadudu waharibifu. Usichokijua ni kuwa Asilimia kubwa ya dawa hizo kutoka ugaibuni hasa bara Europa zina madhara makubwa kwa afya ya binadamu na mazingira. 385 million people globally every year suffer from health uh, effects of poisoning through pesticides and these are figures that do not come from us these are figures that are publicly available and researched by several um, um, organizations of the united nations ripoti inaonyesha kuwa aina 862 za wadawa ripoti inaonyesha kuwa aina 862 za dawa za kunyunyizwa kwa mimea zilizoidhinishwa humu nchini asilimia 82 yazo zina madhara kwa nyuki huku asilimia mbili zikithuru viumbe wa majini the effects on bees and other insects that are needed to pollinate uh, plants and that they are essential for agriculture and to produce agricultural products on the scale needed na kushangaza ni kuwa Asilimia 44 ya dawa hizo zimepigwa marufuku katika bara Europa ila mataifa hayo usambaza dawa hizo katika mataifa mengine kama Kenya. I do think that is wrong of, of us in the European Union, the European Union or member states in the European Union to not allow the use of pesticides in Europe because we are concerned of the health of our own citizens in Europe. Mimea ile adhirika sana na dawa hizo ni sukuma wiki na nyanya ambapo mwaka 2020 utafiti ulionyesha kuwa kuna chembe chembe 25 hatari kwa afya ya binadamu ndani ya mboga hizo. If we have to have enough food and enough vegetables farmers will have to use some pesticides. Um, you can imagine if you are to go to the market and uh, you want to buy tomatoes I'm sure you not buy if it has one one pest. Madhara yanayotokana na dawa hizo ni saratani ya matiti, uharibifu wa mfumo wa homoni na neva miongoni mwa mingine. Dan Kaburu K24 weekend.